Hi everyone, I'm Judith and I will talk about how dogs perceive moving uh, figures and why do we care about it. The phenomenon that I will talk about is called animacy perception. And animacy perception and when we perceive inanimate objects, even geometric shapes, as animate based on simple motion cues. Of course, uh, it's not that we don't know that the thing that is moving on the screen is a triangle or it's not that we don't recognize that it's only a leaf that is falling down next to us. But if there are certain um, motion, that if there are certain characteristics in their motions, then it elicits their perception as animate. Um, animacy perception has been described actually as fairly fast, automatic and irresistible. Here in the video you can see a fairly complex um, behavior and adult humans not only attribute animacy to these uh, figures but also emotions and even personality traits. However, the motion does not have to be uh, this complex. Simple motion cues such as starting from rest or changing speed and direction without a visible external cause can already, um, already trigger the perception of the inanimate object as animate. Human infants already display preference to self-propelledness at birth, meaning that a few hour old infant is sensitive to starting to move from rest or changing uh, speed without an external cause. Not only newborn human infants, but also newly hatched chicks display preference to self-propelled motion. Thus, it seems that sensitivity to certain motion cues that we describe, that, that we describe as animate uh, cues seems to be general uh, among vertebrate species. Um, despite animacy perception being a really important um, building block in learning and understanding uh, the social environment, we know surprisingly little about it. For example, we don't know whether uh, genetic uh, background or the environment influences this perception. Uh, one of the most often used motion patterns to study the phenomenon uh, is chasing because several characteristics of this motion can elicit the perception of the moving figures as animate. For example, human infants at three months of age already discriminate between geometric figures chasing each other versus moving independently from each other. In our previous uh, study, we displayed moving dots to adult dogs and adult humans. On one side of the screen, two dots were chasing each other, while on the other side, uh, simultaneously, uh, two dots were moving independently from each other. And we found that dogs and humans displayed similar looking behavior toward these motion patterns. At the beginning, both dogs and humans uh, divided their attention more or less equally between the chasing and the independent motion pattern. But after a while, they turned their uh, gaze toward the independent motion. So they displayed preference toward the independently moving dots. This is probably due to the rapid perception of the chasing a uh, chasing pattern um, which, um, we, due to which they turn their visual attention to the, let's say, unfamiliar pattern. Uh, and now I would like to introduce two new studies in relation to this phenomenon. In the first experiment, we were curious about what happens if we change one single thing in the video. We know that humans are sensitive to even slight changes in the motion characteristics, but we uh, didn't really have any information about, you know, whether dogs are this sensitive as well and whether their perception relies on similar motion characteristics. Although it is a really important question what influences the perception, but this is actually really difficult to investigate in case of humans. However, uh, dogs comes in many shapes with many behavioral um, differences, many uh, different behavioral characteristics. So they are actually perfect to see what may, ha what may has an effect on animacy perception. So in the second experiment, we simply wanted to see whether we can uh, detect any differences among dogs. So in the uh, first experiment, we uh, tested whether uh, dogs uh, react to the changes in motion similarly as humans. And for this, we uh, did one simple thing. We just changed the dots to isoscale triangles. And the reason is because in case of dots, the, you know where they move because you actually see them move that way. Whereas in case of triangles, they have some kind of an orientation 
Uh, and uh, in humans, uh, it has been found that when uh, these triangles actually turn toward the way they move, that um, facilitates the perception of the moving object as animate. So we expected that uh, in case of this orientation or this heading alignment of the uh, figures uh, indeed facilitates the perception of the object as animate, then dogs and humans would turn their gaze toward the independent motion sooner than in case of dots. We tested 30 adult dogs and 30 adult humans. At the beginning of the video, we used a visual, audiovisual attention grabber and then on one side of the screen, two triangles chased each other, while on the other side, the two triangles moved independently from uh, each other. Um, it was only 10 seconds long and we repeated it twice. And we measured um, which uh, motion pattern dogs looked at and for how long. Just uh, first, just as a, a reminder uh, to see, I would like to show you uh, what happened in case of the dots. So in case of the dots, what we found that dogs and humans displayed really similar behavior, meaning that in the first trial, both dogs and humans um, divided their attention, visual attention equally between the chasing and the independent motion. Whereas in the second trial, both species preferred to look at the independently moving dots. So what happened in case of triangle or the triangles? Well, at the end, so in the second trial, again, both dogs and humans prefer to look at the independent motion. So it is similar as previously. However, what is important for us is what happened in the first trial. In the first trial, humans uh, behave the way we actually expected. So even in the first trial, they started to uh, look longer at the independent motion compared to the chasing motion. However, dogs uh, displayed the opposite preference, meaning that in the first trial, dogs actually looked longer at the chasing motion rather than the independently moving figures. So we found the difference between the two species. However, we noticed another difference between them. So we carried out another analysis and we checked how many times the two species look back and forth between the chasing and the independent motion. And here we again found a difference between dogs and humans. During the 10 second, humans uh, in general um, shift their attention between the two motion patterns about seven to eight times, whereas dogs only do it three or four times. Based on our results, um, it seems that uh, just like humans, dogs are also sensitive to slight changes uh, in the motion characteristics. However, it is really important to note that it seems that the two species react differently to this change. Of course, one may think that, there's a that it indicates a difference in the animacy perception of the two species. However, um, based on the difference in the frequency of gaze alternation of dogs and humans, we suggest that there might be something else in the background. And actually, recently another research group also showed that when displaying different pictures to dogs and uh, humans, uh, uh, dogs fixate their uh, gaze longer on specific points of, the, of these figures uh, than humans do. So based on this, we suggest that the difference between the two species is not uh, really due to animacy perception, but due to how we actually look at things. So a bit based on these results as uh, well, we wanted to dig a little deeper to see what may cause this uh, difference. So here in the second experiment, we wanted to see whether selection for specific behavioral traits influences animacy perception. Uh, we tested dogs selected for uh, hunting, hunting so for the same work, but for different tasks within hunting. In the chaser group, we had dogs that typically actively search for, track and chase the game. Whereas in the retriever groups, we tested dogs uh, that visually follow, mark and remember down game and then retrieve it to the hunter. It is important to uh, note that we only tested dogs that were not trained to hunt. Um, 
we used the videos with the triangle and the method was the exact same so the stimuli were 10 seconds long and we repeated the stimulus uh, twice overall and um, and we looked at what dogs are looking at practically so overall we did not find a difference between the chaser and retriever retriever dogs regarding how long they looked at the chasing or independent motion in either of the trials meaning that the two groups uh, behave similarly during the video display uh, despite not finding uh, a general difference uh, between these two groups we still wanted to see what exactly happens during uh, those you know 10 second trials the following figures may seem a bit complicated but no worries they are not so on the x-axis uh, you can see the 10 second um, during which the dogs would actually look at the stimuli and on the y-axis you can see the proportion um, of dogs uh, looking at the chasing or independent motion but just to make it easier I indicate in the upper corner whether dogs um, actually decreased increased their gaze or their uh, gaze didn't really change uh, during the trial so um, so in the first trial uh, chaser dogs uh, reduce their look toward the chasing motion while keeping their visual attention on the uh, independent motion however in the second trial instead of keep looking at the independent motion just like we saw in case of uh, humans and dogs in general in the previous studies chaser dogs uh, regain their interest in the chasing motion whereas they look less and less the independent motion. So what happened with the retrievers? In case of retrievers, we found that initially they decreased their look toward the independently moving um, triangles while keeping their look constant on the chasing motion. And this actually changed to the opposite for the second trial, in case of which they uh, looked less and less the chasing motion, whereas they uh, kept their visual attention constant on the independent motion. So just like in case of um, the document comparison here, we also wanted to see what's going on with this looking back and forth between the two patterns. However, again, here we did not really find any difference between the two groups of dogs, meaning that chaser and retriever dogs uh, displays similar um, similar frequency of gaze alternation between the two motion patterns. So although based on the looking dynamics it seems that there might be some differences between the dog selected uh, to track and chase game versus dog selected to mark and remember game, overall it still seems that there are no marked differences between them. So as I mentioned earlier uh, we think that animacy perception um, is an evolutionary ancient mechanism and although we have uh, scarce knowledge about it it seems that not only that different vertebrate species are sensitive to similar motion characteristics but based on our results it also seems that selection for specific behavior traits does not influence the basic mechanism of animacy perception well at least in case of hunting dogs however we still have a lot more to explore uh, we would like to thank uh, everybody who participated in our experiments and thank you for your attention.